Donna, I'm back again. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're somebody who's been before and come back, welcome to you and thank you for coming back. Today it is a charity shop haul and try on with some bits that I've got from all over really because uh, they've been in the bags for ages and I keep buying stuff and the reason um, I haven't tried them on or put them away or anything is because I need to sort out my wardrobe because it, it's rammed. And I bought stuff and um, there's a denim skirt that I'm going to show in this haul which I know I've got a similar one in the wardrobe and I've seen it a few weeks ago and I thought I'll wear that and then <laughs> I can't find it now. So uh, <laughs> so I need to have a sort out in my wardrobe and I'm considering reselling again. don't know whether it'll be on eBay or what but I might have a sort out in my clothes and just put them as a job lot so I can have me new stuff. <laughs> My new second hand stuff but it's new to me so um this i've got a dress on today look i've got me uh dress with me uh go stripe stripe on like you know just in case i you know i want to go for a run so this was um i don't know if you can see it's got like little bits on not bits um i thought are they squares they got like it's textured it's a textured skirt and it's not not skirt dress <laughs> and it's like um stretchy lock so i've got this on for the first time ever that i've wore it you've seen it in the haul video a long time ago and now it's a bit cold i've got my super thick tights on like the woolly tight ones i got them from tesco's when they're five rich so i'm actually gonna venture out in public with dress on and you know what it was actually easier putting a dress on than um jeans and a top because I didn't have to think about it. Well, I did a little bit, obviously, but it was just like, and it's so comfortable. I don't know what it's going to feel like going out in public wearing a dress, but nobody gives a damn today. It's just me, <laughs> like, you know. So um, I just think it's going to be a bit airy, because <laughs> like, you know? I'm not used to wearing skirts. I buy loads of skirts, but I never wear them. So this will be a little test today, because I have bought other dresses, which I'll show in another haul as well anyway this one is a bit of a it's more it's closed because i've got them hanging up here but i want to show you some other bits as well like um a new purse this was 95p it's no brand i don't know what brand it is but my other purse is like falling apart but you know when you like stuff and you don't want to get rid of it but it's just dying like you know or it's going to the purse grave so this one was 95p it's brand new I'm on my sure it's new and I've just closed it and got it's a purse <laughs> anyway it's got like bits for your change and bits for your cards but it hasn't got the see through. my old purse has got like the um you know the plasticky bit there where you put your driving license but this one hasn't so if it had that bit it would be perfect but it cost me 95p so uh, I'm not going to moan so I'm quite happy with that don't know if it'll fit in my handbag because it's longer than my um I've got several handbags but I like my favourite one but I don't think that's going to fit but just in case I bought another handbag it's a blue I think it's blue I can't quite tell it's just a handbag with a long strappy bit on because I like them ones and this was three pounds I don't know what the brand is what is it cultured I never heard of it it was three pound from a Duke. oh this one now this was from Age UK in Rubri. This was from Cancer Research in Bromsgrove. I hadn't planned to go charity shopping. I was going to go to Argus to pick up my order. And this is a, is it a couple of doors down or next to it. Anyway, it was £3. And it's just, um, well, it's just a handbag with a little dangly bit. I don't know what that's the dangly bit's for. Just for show, I suppose. But... It's all right. It's not new. You can tell it's not new. Somebody's had it before me, but I don't mind. So let's see if this purse fits in there. In it goes. Don't know if my uh, phone will fit in there at the same time. So for three pound ninety nine, I got a new handbag and a new purse. So I'm happy with that. Next items. I know I've got loads of boots, but I like boots. These boots were from. Uh, St Mary's in West Heath and they were only £3. 
Three pounds. I think that's where I got from. They're no name. I don't mind because I like them. Divas or something. D I V A Z. Never heard of the brand, but I just thought they were nice and they're in good condition. Look. So um, hopefully they look nice from the jeans, but. I don't know. I tried them on in the shop because they are a size 6, but some size 6s don't fit me because I swear my feet are getting bigger as I'm getting older. And the next item, items, because there's two of them, some more boots, look. And these, right, were, for me, a lot of money. <laughs> 6 99 the Marks and Spencers. And because they're like um, elasticated a bit there, they actually fit... Um, yeah, they fitted on all right, but I was gutted. These were from Age UK in Howl's I was gutted though because they had some Fly London boots there, which were gorgeous. £15, but I couldn't get them over my calves because I've got <laughs> really chunky calves. And I have tried them on, I couldn't get a zip up. And then I walked around the shop and I picked these up and then I went back to them again and tried them on again and they still didn't fit. So I was a bit gutted about them, but I'm quite pleased with these. So I'm, I might try these on with this dress, just to see what they look like. They, they might look terrible, actually, because this dress is long and these are long. But they kind of look a bit horse ridey, don't they? But they're kind of like little, little heel, so that's why I like them, because if I have a heel boot, I prefer wedge. I don't like um, little, you know, the little heels with pointy bits, stilettos. I don't like stiletto type boots because what's the point? <laughs> you know. Anyway, I'll try these on and show you. Hang on. Um, these boots, I've got to admit, I don't like much with this dress when they're on their own because all you can see is my bloody knees. So anyway, these are the boots. Right, I don't know if you can see them. And I've got to admit, I tried them on with this dress and I thought they look bleeding ridiculous. So, you know, but then I thought, hang on, I wouldn't go out just like this, would I? I'd have a coat on. So, um, I'll show you um, with my coat on, <laughs> show you my boots. With three different colour coats to see um, uh, which, which one looks, look, looks okay. <laughs> hang on a sec. This is my red coat, as you can see. I think this was the one Liam referred to as um, the beef eater or King's Guard coat. And um, yeah, so I don't think this looks too bad. I mean, the bed's like a browny colour. The coat's red and obviously the dress is black. So this is um, with a red coat, which um, from a distance, I mean, I ain't got my glasses on, so uh, when I watch this back, I'll be able to see. This is the red coat. Like, so you can still, it covers my knees, doesn't it? What does it? Yeah, so all you can see is boots, can't you? So I don't think this looks too bad with the red coat, but uh, I'll try another colour coat. Hang on. Try it with a blue coat, which is um, a bit shorter, isn't it? Well, yeah, it looks a lot shorter in the, um, in the thingy. <laughs> um, I'm not so sure about this one. I don't think I can do this one up very well now. I could do it up, but it's a tight squeeze. So this is one of them coats that I normally wear. Not done up because I can't. So um, I don't think I'll be wearing this one today. I said it's shorter, and you can see my knees, can't you? So uh, I think I think the uh, blue is a definite no with these boots and this skirt. Not skirt. It's a dress. This thing. Hang on. My mustard yellow coat that I think I got from eBay, didn't I? I think I showed you in. This is one of my favourite coats, I do wear this quite a lot. It's a bit too short though, isn't it? Yeah, it's proper short, so um, again, I won't be wearing this. You can tell it's my favourite, but I've still got masks in the pockets. It's a bin then. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's too short, isn't it, for this? I don't like this, uh, this. How much did I pay for this? Was it about fiver? I think it's about fiver with the uh, postage on top. But the other ones were from uh, the charity shops. But no, I don't think this is um. No, because <laughs> they're my knees. <laughs> okay, it's definitely a no for this coat. Um, I might end up wearing just one of my black coats.
don't know if this is called like a jacket or um, a posh cardigan because look it's like cardigan-y at the, the back and like um, soft soft fleecy stuff at the front and this was 2 95 it's Roman and this was from Age UK down the road in Rubri uh, I have tried it on I proper like this hang on I'll show you I'll put it on now if I can get this off what's it this is I think this is one of my favorites I'll show you so I don't know if this is a cardigan hang on <laughs> try and get it a bit neater so I don't know if you consider it too look it's cardony type material I'm gonna roll that up and at the back for um is it a coat <laughs> I don't know would you wear this as a coat because I, I don't know I might go down the shops in this <laughs> um it's like I think it'd be a coat but not a very warm coat but it looks too posh doesn't it to be a cardigan so soft uh, yeah, so um, I like this. That's well, less than three quid. Oh, what's that? that? That's like a suede type material there. So it's like suede, furry stuff and cardigan-y type material. So yeah, I, I really like this. This, I meant to show you. Um, I had this over my chair in my last video. This is a bloke's cardigan type thing. Manta Ray, which is Debenhams, isn't it? This is my favourite granny, I call it my granny cardigan, but it's a bloke's cardigan. And it weighs a ton. I wear this on the night time sometimes because um, it's like wearing a coat in the house. Bloke's clothes are so much um, chunkier than women's, aren't they? Women's, if you buy a women's cardigan, I've never bought a woman's cardigan that's as thick and as chunky as that one. I say, you pick it up, it weighs a ton. It normally lives on the back of this chair, <laughs> you know. But... Look at it, it's lined. I don't think they would use it as a coat. I think I only paid about £3 for this. I remember, I think I got this from um, Age UK in Ruby as well. Because uh, if you're in Ruby, that's the cheapest shop. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, it's the cheapest shop for clothes. They, they price everything to sell, and like, that's my favourite. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll, I'm going to show you my other stuff. You would, would have already seen it. It may be a bit jumbled because I'm going to try and like put the bits together but it may be you might see a skirt and a top at different times but bear, bear with me <laughs> hang on this top was a grand total of a pound it's Roman I got this um, down the road Age UK in Rubri and they had a one pound sale on and um just like to say hello to sean again who works at volunteers there who was like being really helpful and actually getting me more stuff out because they were putting all more stuff out it was like oh hang on a minute we're putting some more stuff out so uh i did get a few other bits as well but i'll, I'll show them in another haul because otherwise this haul will go on forever <laughs> you know but yeah thank you to sean for uh pointing these uh other items out and like oh, it's got little buttons and more well it's got quite a few buttons actually <laughs> they went mad at the buttons didn't they but um hopefully this will fit okay because looking at it now it does look quite small doesn't it but it was a pound <laughs> proper bargain so i'm proper happy with these if it fits that's a bonus so we'll see hang on really 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 long denim skirt which was 2.99 from pdsa and this is a, a warehouse skirt and uh, it's got pockets lock real pockets in the front and the back <laughs> um i have a feeling it's going to go down to my ankles though because look how long it is look it's like um it's like a maxi skirt for denim <laughs> for denim wearers so um it may look really good or it may just look ridiculous but um for 2 99 <laughs> It's worth a go, isn't it? And denim is wintry sort of stuff, isn't it? Like I say, I've got my thick tights on, so I think with a pair of boots, if it's not too long, might look all right. <laughs> but we'll see, hang on. This top fits. I think it fits quite nice as well. It's not too snug. There's like loads of buttons. And I've tried it on with this denim skirt, which I don't think looks 
It's long. It is a long skirt, but I don't think it's too bad. I mean, with these boots on as well, I mean, I've got my fig tights look underneath. I think this looks all right. The pockets are proper snug though. Uh, yeah, there's not much giving this skirt, but um, yeah, I quite like this skirt with these boots. I thought it was going to be too long. But it's pretty decent length in it. I say it's got a little pattern on the uh, on the end. See, little pattern, and on the um this bit, the waistband bit. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking with these boots. I was starting to wonder <laughs> whether I really liked them, but they look okay now. So uh, I'll give these a thumbs up. I don't know what you think. I don't think that's too bad. Can you have my stomach rumbling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know I have um, a lot of white blouses and you probably see me doing doing a lot of hauls showing white blouses, but I like white blouses. And uh, when they're £1.95 and £2.25, you know, you, you can't leave them, can ya? Um, this one, I don't know if this is going to fit. Again, Age UK. It's Sarah. And Zara's tiny stuff, isn't it? So, can you see? Hang on. It is that. Go away, label. It's Zara top, but it looks tiny. So, I'm hoping that fits. And then this one, I did stain the clothes because, uh, like I said, they've been in the bag for ages. So, I thought I'd better give them a quick steam. And this one wasn't a quick steam and it still looks all creased. Um, I, I liked it. So, puffy arms. Because around the neck, obviously, <laughs> it's got a neck. Um, and I thought that might, might look might, might look nice with jeans. It's good when you can talk. <laughs> One day I might be able to string a sentence together. But um, I like that. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I like white tops. <laughs> not very practical in the slightest white tops, but... Um, that says £2.25. Who is this from? I can't. Um, this is a Matalan brand, isn't it? So um, I'll, I'll try them on and show you. I really hope that Zara one fits. I don't think it will, but fingers crossed. This fits. I'm not sure if I like it though. It's a bit boxy and it shows a bit too much of the older arms. But uh, it fits and it's got two buttons at the back which are like tiny and it took me ages just to do the one up so um, I, I'm not sure about this top it, it's okay <laughs> uh, I think it's definitely a summer top because it's thin as anything so uh, yeah I, I don't know about this top I have to have a little think this top fits which I'm happy about because I really really like it it's a, the arms are a bit uh, <laughs> pantomime style, but I like that. And this bit there I like. And uh, I think it'll probably look better with jeans, but I'll try and tuck it in here. So, I'm going to say, tuck it in. How does it look? Oh, this girl's proper snug. Uh, how's that look? Well, I think that looks all right. I think, <laughs> I, was saying, uh, I can't see that much in the air uh, view thing, but feels all right. Pull that out a bit, don't you think? How much is this? Was this a £2.95 one? I quite like that. I say it's got long sleeves, so to me, anything with uh, long sleeves in is always a, um, it's a bonus, isn't it? So yeah, I'm chuffed with this. Another bargain. Um, a woolly looking skirt. This one was three ninety nine. Age UK. It's Dorothy Perkins. Oh, and dotty peas. Um, I just liked it. It's got lining somewhere. Yeah, it has got lining. So it's not that. It's thick, but not that thick material. But again, I thought wintry. So with a pair of boots and maybe one of my new white blouses, hopefully if it fits, 
I just liked it. I liked the pattern. I cannot think what the pattern. Checkered? Not checkered. Can't think what the pattern's called, but you, you know what I mean. I like, I like the pattern and it's woolly looking, but I don't think it is real wool. Hang on there. I'll try it on. I like this. I'm not so sure with this top, but I like the pattern and it's not too um too tight. But I thought I'd try it on with um my uh, you know that beige M and S coat. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that hang on a minute. But I generally like this skirt. I'm gonna try it on with the jacket, hang on. I think it looks okay with this jacket. Oh uh, yeah, remember when I was um, saying I couldn't um, get into the pocket? Look where the pocket is. It's on the side. I thought it was there. But um, thank you to the people who commented said um, I could probably unstitch it there. So when I got home, I had a look and then look, that's where they put the pockets for the... Oh, I didn't think to look on the side. But I think this looks okay. This girl looks okay with this... Um, Jacket, because you can just sort of see, see, hang on, yeah, yeah, you can. You can just still see the skirt underneath. Like I said, this is a winter skirt in it, so I will be wearing it with boots, these boots, or similar boots. So I'll probably chuff with my bargains this week. Well, not this week, I've had them for a couple of weeks, but I've only just tried them on. You, you know what I mean? Put my dress back on, then realise I hadn't showed you my other boots. Um, I couldn't be bothered to get changed again. So these are my three pound boots. Look, um, obviously, yeah, I don't think you wear a <laughs> dress, but they're all right now with jeans. I suppose you could wear them with leggings as well, couldn't you? Because these tights are proper thick. They're like thick like leggings, but they're not suede, so you, you wouldn't be able to wear them in the rain. But yeah, they're all right then. A little bit snug to get on, but once they're on, they're all right. So uh, I'm proper pleased with these. Oh, my haul. I'm really chuffed with the stuff that I got. I think what I'm doing now is when I go out charity shop shopping, I'm not just buying everything, which is what I used to do before. I just, just go, that's a bargain, I'll have that. And then I get it home and I'm like, no, it's not as nice as I thought it was and stuff like that. Whereas now I'm being a bit more looking at the stuff and thinking, will I wear that? And um, will it fit? <laughs> you, know, you know, kind of important stuff for me. So now I, have been, I am being a bit more like selective. And like I said, with the boots, that was a lot of money for me. So was it seven ninety nine, six ninety nine? But they have quality boots, didn't they? God knows how much these would have cost new. A bit of fluff there. Um, uh, what do you call them? Marks and Spencers. We all know Marks and Spencers isn't cheap. Even the cafe is a bit on the pricey side. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so like I said before, I would have like turned my nose up at them because I'd be like seven ninety nine, and then I thought, hang on, if I got it from eBay, I would have probably paid like six to seven pound postage anyway. So like I had to put it in like perspective. But yeah, I'm proper chuffed with my stuff. The ones are at top, I'm not too sure of. But all the other stuff, yeah. I'm proper happy. Even the skirt, which I thought would be too long. It's like quite a decent length. <coughs> Excuse me, with the boots. It actually, well, I think it does. <laughs> um, maybe I'm deluded. But I thought it looked okay. But thank you all for watching. You are all awesome. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Donna the Brummy. If you want to give this video a big thumbs up, that would be great. Thank you. If you want to subscribe, that would be brilliant. If you're already subscribed, thank you. And thank you for coming back. Um, I'll see you in the next video because I have got more clothes. And I want to go to shop again. Uh, I'm hungry, but I want to go shopping. So um, I think I better eat something first, I don't know. Although I've got to tidy up this mess that I've made here. All this lot's got to go in the wash. I've uh, got to put my coats away. I've got loads of coats. I, don't, I just can't stop buying coats as well. Can I be fit in the cupboard? Well, Liam keeps moaning because that cupboard is supposed to be his cupboard. But um, <laughs> I'll take it over. He's got a little tiny space for his coat and I had the rest. Because I thought, well, I've got to have somewhere to put them in, because there's no room in there. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a great weekend if it's, um, well, it's Friday for me. I don't know what day you'll be watching this, but 
Oh yeah, if you notice my hair's a different colour from the last Degusta box video. I went to the hairdressers, was it two weeks ago, I had my hair done, foiled and that. And it looked fine until I tried to tie it up and then um, it was a bit orangey. <laughs> so I went back the following week and they put another toner on so it um, went a little bit darker. A bit darker than I normally have it, but it was better than the um, orange. Um, I was told it looked like a tiger. <laughs> okay, see you soon, bye.